All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get a screwdriver back here and twist a little bit and remove this connector. I also pulled out some dielectric grease in the background here. So you gotta tuck that away. And then for these guys, let me see if I can get a better view. They're a little bit difficult, but not as bad as that Honda I worked on the other day. Pull the red tab back. This is the fuel and um, coil unplug harness. Pull that back. And then you can push in the middle of this tab here. If you squeeze it down and pull, it'll come out. So I'm going to release the three on the front here and get working from there. All right, so these three connectors up front came out without any stress. I'm going to remove the first coil on here closest to the, the air intake. So I got my eight millimeter socket. I got a six inch extension. Really hold it on there. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna get under here with a little screwdriver for some leverage. What an unnecessarily complicated struggle. All right. The booted top looks good. I'll wipe it off, put some dielectric grease on there. Plug is pretty deep in there. So I'll use a six inch socket and an extension for that. Six inches was not long enough. So I'm running two extensions here. I have a nine inch somewhere. There we go. Threads catch in there. Alright. See how this plug looks. Okay. So I'm gonna try the rest on the other two. I'll try sorry. I'll try to do the same thing on the other two. And if there's anything unique, if I have to remove something, then I'll add it to the video.